Okay, so this is just a simple video that I will show you how to connect a HyperX Quadcast S condenser mic or other condenser microphones to an iPhone using the Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter from Apple. So this adapter will be needed to make this possible so you can connect it to an iPhone. And I will do this live, so I don't know even if it works. So this is the first time I will try that. As you can see here, I have my HyperX Quadcast S connected to USB-C to this cable, and this is a USB type A. So now we will open this box with just one hand because I'm holding it in the other. So, as you can see here, you have a USB 3 and lightning port and lighting in the other end on this adapter. There's some instructions in the box too, I don't care about that. Here we have the adapter itself, a lightning in that end and USB 3 and lightning in that. So, first let's plug in the lightning connector to my iphone as this iphone i use as a camera normally now i plug that in now it shows update available would you like to update apple usb camera adapter yes i want to update now it updates the camera adapter as you can see 14, 19%, 20%, 50%. Takes a while to update apparently. 80%, 90%, 100%. Now it has updated the adapter. Now I will plug in the power. You need to have power to this adapter. So I plug in a power plug directly into the adapter itself. Like so. Now I have plugged in an adapter. A power plug adapter into the camera adapter that is in my iPhone using lightning. Now we have just one thing left to do and that is plug in the USB type A connector into this adapter. This is from the HyperX Quadcast S condenser mic. Of course you can use other condenser mics if it has a USB connector. So now I will plug this into this. Hold on. Now I have plugged that in and as you can see it starts immediately. So now Filmic Pro here in uses external microphone. So now it uses the HyperX Quad Cost S. I can show that to you by just tapping on the microphone. See now. As you saw, it uses the HyperX Quadcast S microphone now. And you can, of course, raise and lower the gain of the microphone so it doesn't use as much volume as you need now. As you see now, when I tap on the microphone, well, it still uses a lot of gain, but when I speak now, you see it doesn't use so much. But what an Raising this, you see that it uses more. So by just using this, I can raise and gain the gain. So that was a short video showing how easily you can connect a condenser mic to an iPhone. You need to buy an Apple original camera adapter, no copy from Amazon or something, just buy a real Apple original camera adapter, then this will work. Okay, bye.